Hello, it's Milton, the little Milton channel. Right, how we set up the electronic clutch on these? To start with, my son came back and a couple of days ago after being around at his uh, mates, did some work for him, helping him out. I asked him, how do you get on with a new drill? Hate it, don't like it. Don't know how to set that the torque settings on it. No, it's the word torque settings. He says, well, what happened? He says, well, I was playing with them and just kept cutting out on his. And I went, oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, it's an electronic torque control clutch system that's on it. Yeah, so I look, looks at his. Huh? I said to him, I said, it's nothing new. Okay, it's not. That system's nothing new. My very first drill, the CSB 852 RET Bosch thing, had a similar system on board it. We used to, when I was in engineering, we used to use it, this quite a lot. DIY drill, I'll tell you what, for a DIY drill, this drill didn't have kick ass. Anyway, what was happening was, when we were using it, we were using it to put things like bolts in and out and little 8mm uh, hexagon head stainless steel bolts in with although we did get in trouble for it because we were putting them in too tight but well, it did do it but the point was when it came to wood ah different story trying to set those settings up for wood forget it it was like Mission Impossible although this one here today I had some fun playing with and I worked out a system how you, to show you how it actually works and how you can make it easy to make the damn thing work. So as for my son, I explained it to him and today I went through it with him and I showed him what we were doing. Now, I had a look online today on the reviews on this drill. Practically all the reviews on this drill, right, that was my one of mine's today, that was another one of mine's today and that was another one of mine's today that's how much fun I had getting this thing set up and showing my son and him having a shot at doing it as well it was quite fantastic I tell you right so I know online today looking at reviews on this what I actually found was obviously it's down now what I found was they all started off showing you how fantastic and how powerful this drill was drilling great big holes everything Right, but one of the best ones for this was Sparky Channel. What Sparky went and did was he had started. If you look at his video when he's going on going on about this drill, he then starts going on about screw driving. And if you look at his video on the right hand side, you see some countersink marks. Just what I've just showed you. This one, right? So I've come to sink marks in the wood, like this. The point was, he couldn't get the countersink into work. So then he switched and he went and he went off. And what he started doing was, let me open this up. He started using pan head screws, which I'll show you what I mean by that soon. Right. These little things here. Right. These are called pan head screws. Them. Right. These little things here. And I'll show you what he was doing with that later. And he's putting them in and said, look, torque settings, this and not torque settings. The, electric, the electronic clutch worked perfect. See, boom, boom, boom. But because the fact is they've got a flat area, they work perfect. We noticed that in engineering. When you're putting bolts in, it worked perfect. But when you had to have to make it screw it wood, which we did periodically, not all the time, but we did do it. We got problems with that one. So, he had the same problem and one other guy right when he first got the drill he started putting screws in he couldn't get them to work so then he very quickly said oh well let's go and drill some holes now and some of the others that were using the drill were also burying them as well but however that's another story so i'll go now and i'll set up and i'll show you what i mean okay okay then this is it the dewalt dcd996 with the electronic uh, electric clutch right so what do we do well we put it on speed 
So I torque set in one. Speed three, right? These screws are five by 50. So what I decided to do was, well show me son, and I, this is what I did. Right? Okay, it stopped short. So then I moved it up only two, right? While it's still on setting one, right? Right? Now that took it practically all the way down. So then I put it on speed one with one setting on there. And then I did this. So now we know that's no good. So roughly the setting between this to put these screws in is somewhere on speed two, right? So move on to speed two, we know it won't do it, and we'll move it up one torque setting on there. So it's two and two on this, all right? So let's see what happens. So I'll go off to where that one was, but come back a little bit, all right? Mm. But of course they're not there. Actually that's my mistake, there is actually not. It's a bit tight. Which again is indicative of this. Meaning, this is what I mean about these electronic clutches. They've got a problem. If you have too grainy wood, it'll alter your settings. If you have a soft piece of wood, it'll alter the settings. Meaning it'll bury it or it'll underbury it. If you ask me, they don't really actually work. Although these are better than what the Bosch was. I'll just come back a bit here. There, there. It hit a knot on that one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do two more. Right, well, one more just here. I don't know. Uh, I'll come in about here, I think. Right. There we go. And I'll come here for this one. And I'll bring it around and show you. Ah, see, I yeah, put that one in as well. I'll put another one in just to prove this. There we go. Right, I'll bring it around now and I'll let you have a look. That light's still on. Right? No. Oops. Okay then, that was the first one I did with a uh, setting on uh, clutch electric clutch setting one right but speed three that was on one speed two and that was on one one and look it buried it right now coming back again I then set it up on a two and two but because it's got a knot near there it stopped it dead which again is a problem with this system then I did these ones here and again because it's close to a knot somewhere it stopped that one dead. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. And now we come to this one here, of course, and it's just perfect. So what I'll do now is I'll put one in to show you it going in, right? And talk, the settings are speed two, clutch one, two. Sorry. Right. Here we go. Right. Here we go. And again here, it hasn't quite buried that one down as well. Which, as I said, this is one of the problems. So you've seen it now, and again here, you've seen the proof that we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five screws. Tried to put them in the line, and they're kind of... Three of them are all about the same level, and two of them are at different levels. Although you could say, well, this problem, you get this with torque settings. Yeah, but with the torque settings, if you hold them there for a bit longer, sometimes they'll drive them down that little bit more. You have more play. And this again was the problem what we had going back. This drill, believe it or not, here, this one, the Bosch, is actually about 24 years old. And it's only the last two years, this drill's been out for about two years now. I'm two years too late to actually trying to show this and explain it. So, in other words, 22 years ago, they tried it, Bosch, and it didn't work. Now, DeWalt's trying it. When I first heard about this, that DeWalt were doing it, I just went, well, that's not going to work. 
I'm not slagging it down. It is a good idea if it would actually work. But there are too much differences in wood. They're not the light grain, heavy grain, even the differences in wood. You could set this up and then you could go to a different piece of wood and it'd be completely different. And yet again, we know this because torch settings do it as well. So then. Okay, I've got rid of them screws out of there. So what I'll do now is I'll put some pan headed screws in. Right? And I'll show you what I mean how easy they actually do settle. And this is what type of screw you're probably better off using. Clutch one, speed three, okay? Alright? Now. Oh yeah, no problem. And these should all basically be the same. That seems a bit. Mind you, I've got very short ones here. Right, that actually rounded that one, it slipped. Alright, and I'll. Uh, is this. Is it actually slipping? Yeah, they're actually slipping. Mind you, these are a little bit on the short side. So I'll put, try putting in the grain. Yeah, the grain it works. What I'll do is, I'll get some more out, I'll bring it back around, and I'll show you what I mean, how these go in. And you'll go, yeah, right, I see what you're driving at now. Right. Trying to put that light onto the um, camera. Right then, I'll just very quickly show you some going in. Right. You see how easy they're going in? Nope, that was my fault, slipped. Let's do one more, put one here. There we are. Done. So now I think you get the idea now, right? Because they've got big flat heads in them, the, the clutch on it will actually work. The electronic clutch, that is, it will work on them like that. But for countersink type screws, good luck with that one. I mean, you could actually see, I'll just put this down now, you could actually see, right? Then, if it's going to be a problem, how can we solve this problem? Well, is there a way? Yeah, there is a way, actually. I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes, once I get all these nice little screws out here, you see. And uh, when I've shown you the next bit, I'll bring you in close, right? What I will also show you is this piece of wood here on top. What they actually did to this wood here, how it marked it. Actually, I'll probably be able to show you that, actually. Just now, because I'll set up for another piece of wood and I'll show you that there is actually another method. We've got some decent wood, yeah. We have, we have got a decent piece of wood, right? Oh, stuck down, it's stuck down. Oh, of course, we've got a buried screw in there. Forgot about that. Can you see where all the pan heads went in about? How it squashed it down? Can you see how much torque? And that was on its lowest torque setting, yeah. And it does that. I'll just put this down here and when we come in for a closer look I'll bring it back. So what I'm going to do is I'll set up now for another uh, with some more wood. Okay then, so what's the other method? The other method is this here, top X. What this is, it comes under drywall screwing, but trust me, it doesn't even mention it on the packet. If you want to find it on Amazon, type in the name, right, top X. Our drywall, drywall screw in top X. This isn't a drywall thing, and I'll show you why. Oh, and you get four bits weight. You get two PH1s and two PZ2s, right? I'll just take it out of the box. Now, I've been working with these now for about a month now, just over a month. I've been practicing. I've tried out quite a few. The DeWalt do one, price between 10 and 12 pound, right? The DeWalt one, which is basically just the bloody same, there it is, right? The DeWalt is £19, okay? And yet, oh, sorry, yeah, they're both basically the same. They're not actually, they are differences, but we'll leave that. So how does it work? Well, first of all, we'll take off the, the clutch settings, the top settings, and we'll put it on screw mode. Open that up, we we'll pop this in, right? Now, 
it's rather a big hole for drywall screwing don't you think in there right this will take up a 6 mil size which they have a 12 mil head on them right so whatever bit you put in there now this is whatever bit you put in there it will fit in that diameter so it's not just for drywall screwing the drywall guys for screw driving have had it way too easy for too long they've known about some of this equipment but they don't shout about it so how does it work put it on there when i'm going to speed three i'm just going to turn this down at speed one okay just to slow it down a bit right so you can see it put it on boom when the screw hits its right depth has like a little clutch if you like inside that misses it pulls it up this bit pushes up like so you see and it releases the drive mechanism off the inside i'm going to be taking one of these to bed soon and i'm going to make videos actually on this i'm just showing you that there is an easier way if you can't be messed with these things so i'll put a few of these in i'll stagger them so I don't split the wood and i'll also pop it up at speed two remember the clutch settings are not set there we go it's maybe just a bit too far and it is readjust fully readjustable i've got this set a little bit too far down see just a little bit i'll keep away from there and i'll show you one one actually going in and i'll put another one near this knot here which you would think might affect it but it won't there we go done right so leave it on that i think you should come over now and have a look and see what i've done right then so you can see what i've done here i'll just leave this just now point the pointer there was the one near the knot it's buried no more or no less than the rest of them right that one seemed to be down a little bit but again here i think part of my problem was i'm not used to the weight of this drill i got pushing a bit too hard so all i'll do is i'll just prove it to you right there we go I'll just do another one. Yeah. One more for luck, eh? Let's be really stupid and put one right on top of the knot. Right? I'm parked on that knot now. Well, that's left off, so it's not perfect. I think you'll let me off with that one. I'll do one more. Right? Just for the heck of it. We'll come here. Right. right then, there we go. So you see how easy that was, don't you? So come on then, how easy do you actually want it? As I said, for the price of 10 or 12 pound, you can bypass the clutch system if you're getting your GBH. Admittedly, there's problems with this. If you're working in a tight area, totally useless, you're not going to be able to use it. The other problem is you're going to have to set up your screws for a specific screw size head. Whether it be Torax, but don't forget Torax comes in T30, T25 and T15. So really and truly you have to watch that one or you're going to have to end up buying three of these. Why? Well I'm not joking you, where's my little pliers? The bits in here are held in with a little ring thing around them, collar. They're so hard to get out, they're unbelievable, and I don't think I'll be able to pull them out with these pliers. Oh, dead. You're going to need a pair of long nose pliers if you want to keep changing the bit over. Next problem. I measured these. It's supposed to be 25mm. Some are 24 Some are slightly over 25mm. They're not all the same size. So it means you would alter, right, your size as well as you were using this to put it in. I said, I'm going to make a video on this. We're supposed to be going to be torque settings. We're not waffling on about this. And you can tell how hard it is because now I can't get the damn thing back in again. That's how hard they are in there. They're not, you're not going to pull them out. I'll tell you what. I'll sort it out later. <laughs> right. How we readjust this. There's your locking ring there. You undo that and you turn this other direction. You turn it inwards. It means the screw will go in further. If you turn it outwards... It means it'll lessen it in there. So anyway, you've seen it working. You've seen me actually setting up the torque settings and showing you how you can do it. And even when you do get them set up, you get a problem. The 
problem is if it doesn't sink it the, as far in that you want how are you going to actually bypass it you have to bypass all the top settings put it back on drill mode and gingerly pop it back in again you do get the same problem with torque settings, true, on normal drills, but as I said, if you play with them for a bit, you can actually get them to go in. So, you can actually do it. So, now you've seen it, you've seen me set up the, these things on here, you've seen how I do it. I've been working with these for just over a month now. My son's decided he wants one as well now, so I guess I better get going before you guys get there and start buying them all off the internet. No, I'm not affiliated with this company. I'm not affiliated with DeWalt. I'm just a private individual that likes making videos and trying to help people and show them that there is other ways you can do things to make life easy. If you really want to know, I'm a lazy get. I don't like making things hard work. I always look for the easiest way. So far, these, they just made my life a lot easier. I don't have to worry about electronic clutches, torque settings. I just set them up and go for it. And if I have to use them, I'll use them. But only if I have to and I can't get in with one of these. Anyway, my name is Milton. Channel's called Little Milto. Subscribe if you want. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I'm easy going. And leave comments below if you want as well. Okay then. I'll see you the next time. When I might, only might, just get around. To get in a, slow that down again. Making a video on clamps. I've been saying this now for about two months now. I'm gonna make a video on clamps. Ah, the clamps. I spent most of my life using blinking clamps. I just don't feel like it. Anyway, bye now, and I'll see you the next time. Okay.